Now that we know about lemmatization, it's time to use lemmatizers present in NLTK package. In particular, we will be using WordNet lemmatizer. So WordNet is a collection of uh, verbs, adjectives, nouns, adverbs, and these are grouped together on synonyms of these words. So in order to use WordNet lemmatizer in NLTK, first you need to import the NLTK package and then NLTK dot WordNet limitizer and we will create an object of this and then we will use the limitize function that is present inside uh, this and then uh, we can call it on some words like WN dot limitize and then let's say coder coding and these things so its syntax is very similar to uh, Potter stemmer that we had seen in the last video so there we used NLTK dot porter stemmer so in this video also we will uh, import both of those and uh, try to compare what's the difference in results when we use lemmatization versus, versus stemming so let's begin in our notebook so first let's import the NLTK package and then the wordnet lemmatizer from NLTK Let's also import that uh, Porter stemmer in order to compare the results between stemming and uh, limitization. And let's quickly have a look at what are the available functions inside this limitizer. So let's run it. So these are the main functions and we will be mainly concerned with this limitize function. So let's uh, compare the results of lemmatizer and stemmer on some of the words. So let's try on goose and geese. So first let's try on a stemmer. Goose. And then geese. So we see that uh, it's not able to identify that these two belong to same word. So it chops them to G W S and G W E S. So these are not even words in the dictionary, so they don't make too much of sense. Now let's apply the same words and give them to this uh, WordNet limitizer. and let's run it so here we see that it's correctly able to differentiate between these two and uh, it uh, reduces them to a common word goose and similarly uh, let's limitize cactus and also cacti and run it. So it's able to uh, understand that these two belong to the same lima and it's able to convert both of them to cactus. But if we run the same example on Porter Stemmer, and run it, it's not able to identify that and it just blindly chops out this S. So that's why we see that uh, this lemmatizer is much more powerful than uh, stemming. So stemming uses just heuristics and is only concerned with the string it is given. And it essentially chops off some suffix from that word. Whereas lemmatization searches the corpus to find related words and reduce it down to the root word or the lemma. Now uh, let's run this uh, limitizer on our uh, spam collection data set spam detection data set so we will first read the text raw text so we will need to import pandas as pd so this is just the old stuff and then re and we will also import a string for punctuation, removing punctuation 
and then we will set option display dot max call bit two hundred. Um, we will save the stop words for English language. And let's print the first five rows to see everything is working fine. So there is some error message. Name MSG is not defined. Okay. So this should be string. Yes. So till now it's fine. And this is just the old stuff. We are reading our data from SMS spam collection and separating them based on tab. And we have named the two. Uh, columns in this data frame as label and message. So this label contains ham or spam and this MSG contains the actual message. Now we will uh, clean the text. Now we will define our own custom function to clean the text. So first we will get rid of the punctuation. Then we will split it into tokens and we will use re.split and split it on non-word characters and then finally we will get rid of the stop words. And then we will return the text and then we will use this clean function and create a new column to store uh, the list of words without stop words and punctuations. So let's name it MSG no text, no, uh, no stop and then we will apply lambda function on this msg column and let's print the first five rows to see if it's working correctly so we see that uh, it's working correctly and uh, it would have removed some of the stop words like here until is removed. So it's not there. Similarly here in is removed. So only is removed, in is removed. So we can see that uh, many of the stop words are removed. So now we are ready to apply uh, the limitizer. on the SMS spam collection data. So let's define a limitization function and it will take the list of tokenized words
So again, we will use the same thing, but instead of returning word, we will apply that uh, word net limitizer on that. So we will write wn dot, dot limitize and here tokenize text. and then we can return this text. Now let's create a new column and we will call it MSG limitized and we will apply lambda function on uh, this last column for each word we will limitize them and let's Print the first five rows and see the results. Uh, so we are not seeing much of effect here. So here we see that goes is converted to go and lives is converted to life so uh, these are not proper english words so we are not seeing too much of effect but we see that it's on some words we can see the effect and here oni is converted it's oni only so so we are seeing very less effect because these are not proper english words so that's how we limitize our text. See you in the next video where we will uh, move to the next stage of NLP pipeline where we will vectorize uh, our texts into numbers which can be consumed by our machine learning algorithms. So see you in the next video. Thank you.